Yes, I'm in the same outfit that I had on at the end of the last vlog. We're starting a new one. Happy Friday, happy Cinco de Mayo. It is 9.30 in the morning and I have been up since 6.15. So it really feels like it should be like 12 in the afternoon right now because I feel very accomplished because I got some important things done this morning, but it's only 9.30. So we are making breakfast right now. Um, and I just want to come on camera to give y'all a little rundown of my plans or things happening this weekend so oh i need to submit my time for work we'll do that when i finish eating i don't have any meetings today thankfully and that's very important because they are going to come today to assess my couch and see if they can clean it and if they can they will clean the couch today i'm also going to try and do some more packing today i was going to go and take this stuff to goodwill today but it's supposed to rain so i think i'm gonna actually try and take it tomorrow and then tomorrow i gotta go get a wax in the morning and then in the afternoon they are coming to pick up both of my accent chairs and this tv console and then i want to do some more packing tomorrow so i have a productive weekend ahead of me i just wanted to give y'all a quick little rundown of my week and introduce y'all to the vloggy vlog so yeah i will talk to y'all later when i start doing some more packing stuff so yeah Hello friends, we are in my bathroom. Oh, well I came in here without getting any boxes. We are going to pack, but before we pack, let's let's chat a little bit because the last time we spoke, um, let's bring these in there to start. I'm gonna bring my two HelloFresh boxes in the bathroom. The last time we spoke, which was this morning when I was making breakfast, I was talking about how um, the cleaners were gonna come and I was gonna prop y'all up while they were doing their little cleaning process because I felt like I've never had any furniture of mine clean or upholstered before. So like it just would have been like a cool process for me to watch and maybe for y'all to watch. But they ended up canceling my appointment because after going back through my records with the woman that I spoke to about my couch, cause she had asked me on the phone, like what was the makeup of my couch in terms of like the fabric and stuff. And I didn't know off the top of my head. So while she was asking me or going through other things regarding my appointment, I went and looked it up on the article website. My uh, couch is from article, which is a Canadian based, brand if I'm not mistaken but I looked it up and so I was able to tell her on the phone my couch is a cotton linen blend I did not she didn't inform me on the phone that they wouldn't be able to clean it they just said that they have to assess the spot because it was like um pet urine and just like they had to assess it and like see if like they could actually also just looking at my couch could they actually like clean it or would they feel like doing anything further would make it worse so that's what they were supposed to come do today and then if they deemed that like it could be cleaned and like they could get it out and they wouldn't make it any worse they would have cleaned it i would have paid them for their service blah 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 however the lady called me before they were scheduled to come and she was like i just went went over your record or whatever um regarding your appointment and it looks like you have a cotton linen blend uh couch and because of the type of fabric of your sofa we are unable to clean that and so that's kind of annoying that they weren't able to come but i also like understand the, the like the material of my couch is very hard to clean which is why i have been very intentional about trying not to get anything on it because um, I figured that maybe like a professional cleaning service could clean it. But as far as like, if I messed it up, I was like, I don't think that I can clean this because this material is kind of difficult to clean the cushions. Like they don't come off, like they don't detach from the couch. Like the couch is the whole thing. The two pieces come apart and you can connect them together, which is how it makes the larger couch. But like, you cannot remove like the covers on this. You can't flip anything like this is not that type of couch. Like to the naked eye, y'all might not really notice it, but I notice it. 
Um, there's still a stain. I'm pretty sure I got most of his urine out. Um, especially because I can't smell it or anything, but I believe what I used to clean it kind of stained it a little bit, and so I can notice it. You might not be notice it. You might not notice it on camera, or unless you were to like see it in person, it's not terrible. I'm just a little annoyed about it. However, I'm not gonna get rid of my couch. I'm going to keep it just so that whenever I end up moving into whatever new space I end up moving into, I have somewhere to sit until I buy a new couch. However, it was a learning lesson for me though, in terms of what to look for when buying a new sofa. And so I have really been looking at a few different options. And what is really important to me is to make sure one, I buy a sofa that has a fabric that is fairly easy to like clean as in like, I can take the covers off and like throw it in the washing machine, but like also, or like I can hire a cleaning service to come and clean the couch and they would be able to clean it. Or I can also like spot clean it. So that's what I'm looking for. Now, specifically, I love the restoration hardware cloud couch. I think a lot of us, if if you're if you're familiar, I'll put a picture on the screen, um, would probably say you love the cloud cloud. Uh, the cloud couch too, but bitch, who has ten thousand dollars to spend on a motherfucking couch? Not me. I'm not rich yet. So also, I don't know if I ever really believe that spending ten thousand dollars on a couch is really like worth it. But all the people that I'd be watching on YouTube who have a cloud couch, they seem to love it and have had it for years. But that just seems like an exorbitant amount of money to spend on a fucking sofa to me. But that's also because I don't have 10 racks to like spend on a couch. So, yeah. But I do like the sofa and there are a lot of companies that make very, 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 very good quality dupes of the Restoration Hardware Cloud Couch. So I'm looking at a few at different places. One place I'm looking at is on Living Spaces. I've also been looking at people's like reviews and stuff on TikTok. You can also get like the little chase with it or ottoman rather um i think they also have like a sectional version city furniture has a sectional um version which is really pretty and coleman furniture also has a sectional version that is like really really pretty and yes i want another white couch i know that somebody's probably finna be in the comments or one of my friends is finna say why would you get another white couch after your dog just peed on your couch first of all mind your business because i didn't ask you number two because i like a sterile white couch and i say sterile because sharabia loves to say mental illness white i really like neutral colors the reason why i like neutral colors is because i think it looks clean and it's very pretty and it's very aesthetic to me and then if you want to add pops of color you're working with a neutral base and so i think that it looks nice i'm not opposed to color i just know I'm not gonna like a green couch or a pink couch about a week into it being in my living room. I'm gonna find it ugly. So I know I will never get tired of a white couch. I just think it looks very pretty. Now, when I look at other people's home decor and their apartment decor and they incorporate a lot of color, I think that's very pretty and it looks nice the way that they did it, but also it fits their aesthetic, but that's not my aesthetic. I don't like that personally. I like neutral colors. So yes, I'm going to get another mental illness white sofa because that is what I want. But also, he's not finna do that again because this nigga's finna learn his lesson because he, I iced him out. He got for a few hours, he got yelled at and he's been going in the crate every time I leave this apartment. You wanna stop going in there? You gonna start acting correct. And until you start acting correct, you gonna keep going in there until you prove to me that I can trust you and that you're not going to retaliate against me because I had to leave to go to work or to go run some fucking errand. So <laughs> I'm getting another fucking white couch. He's still not going to be allowed on it, just like he wasn't supposed to be on that one. But also what I'm doing differently is one, I'm getting a couch that, like I said, I can flip the cushions, I can take the covers off, I can throw it in the wash, I can hire someone to come clean the couch. So that's one. But two, what I didn't do to this couch that in hindsight I wish I would have done is I didn't scotch guard it. When I get my new white sofa, I'm scotch guarding that bitch because 
we're not doing this. We are not messing up another sofa. So that's my little sofa rant. So yes, they didn't, they weren't able to come and clean it because of the material. Um, that's okay. I'm not doing anything else to it because I don't want to ruin anything. So the most important part was that I got his urine stain out. It's just unfortunate that the cleaning solution kind of stained the fabric, but whatever. Anyways, we are in my bathroom because we are going to start packing up the stuff underneath my sink. Let's change the battery because um, it's on like two bars and I would just rather have a full battery once I start recording. So, un momento. I'm finna go through all this stuff and we are gonna pack. Let me turn off the air because I'm getting cold and we are gonna start packing. So cue the B-roll footage. Look at me, what she wanna be. Call me Vicky T. Off the leash. I feel like a dog. I can have a flea. Keep it pee. Never need the chew, but you needed me. I got cream. Make a pretty clean. Push your self esteem. I get turned in the moment. Say so I feel like baby king. Cause it's dead. Step on something. So I just like baby D. I don't come. Cause he has some that you know is getting clean. I got hooks when there's not enough. Come fill the nigga team. I need chips. I All right, y'all, I just packed two boxes for the bathroom, which I think is pretty impressive. So whatever is left in here are things that I'm still using and are things that are gonna be packed last because those are things that I'm going to need um, when I move out. Um, but I got basically everything to fit in these two boxes. Either this weekend or next weekend, I'll take try to re start removing those um, shelves in my shower because I feel like the adhesive is gonna take me a little minute to get off. I think you can use a blow dryer to help get it off, but I think it's gonna take a lot of like willpower and elbow grease to get that shit off. So I would rather not leave it to the, to the last minute. Um, but everything that's in the shower right now as well are things that I'm obviously like using, but this is what underneath the sink looks like right now. I just left some cleaning products that I probably will need stuff to give Skipper a bath and then like hair products that I'm currently using or that I know I'm gonna need within like the next month or so that I need to actually bring with me. And then I will obviously clean under the sink before I move out. And like same thing with the drawers. It's just things that I'm like currently using or that I'm just bringing directly with me versus um packing it right now because the things that i'm packing as of right now are things that i know i don't need immediately and that i feel comfortable with the movers like putting in storage so the things that i'm intentionally intentionally leaving out to pack last are things that i'm physically like bringing with me that i do not want to go in storage so that is my rationale or how I'm currently packing some stuff right now. I got rid of so many hair products, but honestly, and body products, but honestly, it's for the best because if I'm not using it, why am I keeping it? I'm just like hoarding stuff. So, oh, I gotta do the dishes. Let me try and do one thing at a time. Let me clean up in there. But tomorrow, because I don't feel like doing that today, I want to start editing this vlog that's supposed to go up on Sunday. But I forgot to go through this last week when I started packing. So I left a piece of my blender out by accident, but it's fine. Um, I'm probably going to pack that, my hand blender, because I don't foresee myself making French toast or baking or anything. The cheese grater, the calderos I can get rid of because I've been making rice in like this very small pot since I'm one person. And to make a smaller portion, I've just been using that pot whenever I want rice. I can probably pack that bigger strainer. And I can probably honestly pack the rest of these pots and pans except this size and then the medium one that I think is in the dishwasher because 
when I be making my HelloFresh recipes, those are the ones that I use the most. And then I literally use my always pan like for everything. So I really don't feel like I need to leave the other ones out. So I think I'm gonna end up packing that. My toaster and my air fryer are things that I'm bringing with me just because I use my toaster and my air fryer often. So that's gonna be packed along with like my always pan because those are things that I use more consistently and are probably things I'm gonna want immediately. When I um, move in my closet or in this closet right here, there are still some boxes and stuff that are basically packed and that's because I just never unpacked them when I moved into my apartment and it was because I didn't have room to unpack them. I didn't have anywhere to put some of that stuff. I actually feel like I have like a lot less boxes thus far. I haven't packed my closet yet, so, but I feel like I have a lot less boxes than I did when I was moving out of my apartment in Chapel Hill. Yeah, that's the packing that we did for today. So let's put the trash can back. Let's move these boxes back over here. Um, I'm gonna do the dishes and I will talk to y'all tomorrow. We, I think I'm gonna take my car for a car wash tomorrow morning before I go, before we go to European Wax Center. And then if I have time to go to Home Depot between when I leave European Wax Center and when they're supposedly supposed to come pick up my furniture, we will be going to Home Depot. But if they do actually call me when I get out of my wax appointment, then obviously we're gonna come home. They're gonna pick up my furniture and then we'll go to Home Depot. But I have a feeling I might be able to go, we might be able to go after my wax appointment tomorrow. So that is the plans. I will talk to y'all in the morning. Hey y'all, happy Saturday. I almost said Sunday, but no, it's Saturday. Look at my cute little bun. That looks like a little, it's giving peacock. I don't know, I kind of like it. But today is Saturday, May 6th. It's a little after 10.08. I'm very much in love with my new iPhone wallpaper because I am most certainly a bad bitch. So <laughs> I love my new iPhone wallpaper, but it's a little after 10. I just finished um, getting ready. I took care of Mr. Skipper. We walked him, fed him, and I did what I needed to do. I gotta get dressed though. My wax appointment, I thought it was at like 11 or 11.15. It's at 10.45, but I just need to leave here by like 10.30. I don't know what that was about. I need to leave here at like 10.30. What I'm doing right now before I leave though is I'm currently importing the footage onto Final Cut Pro. That's what I've been doing this morning um, because whenever I come back, from running errands and stuff I need to edit this vlog so it can be up tomorrow we're gonna get dressed it's a gloomy day outside as y'all saw when I opened the shades I thought it was gonna be nice and sunny today it is gonna be in the high 60s today but I think it's supposed to rain I'm just gonna put on like my favorite split hem yoga pants just put on a skims top underneath this sweatshirt I will talk to y'all later Y'all, why did I get to my fucking uh, wax appointment? Cause I could have sworn it was at 10:45, but like they text you like the day before to confirm your appointment, and the text does say 11:30. So why did my dumbass have 10:45 still in my calendar? And I went in there and I was like, I have an appointment at like 10:45 with Taylor. And they were like, I don't have you down for a 10:45, but it was 11:30. I was like, not. Nah, I came <laughs> at the wrong time. So. I do actually have a little bit of time to go get my car wash real quick and then come back and make it back in time for my appointment and then I will have to go home just to make sure that I am there when the people who are coming for my furniture are going to be there and we might just have to leave um, going to Home Depot until tomorrow because um, I don't know exactly what time the movers are coming. I just know they're coming or not the movers, the junk removal people, the people from Habitat for Humanity. I just know that they're coming in the afternoon because that's when I told them it would work best for me. But the time slot is from 12 to 5, so I just need to be home just in case. So we're going to go get our car wash now.
Normally I'm quick to switch up my things I might unpack my bag and I'm shit. I got what it takes to say this Guys, first of all, lighting mm. It's starting to get a little empty in here. It's getting, over. I hear a little bit of an echo now that like some furniture is missing. Maybe it's in my mind, but I do feel like I hear it. But wow, it's starting to sink in now that like in a few weeks, I will be out of this apartment. Crazy. So they came and picked up my infamous green chair. They picked up the media console and then they picked up my yellow chair that I had over here in the corner. Sucks that I had to pay to actually get my furniture removed, but I think I said this earlier in the vlog. The reason why I had to pay was because normally you can just have Habitat for Humanity, their resupply um, portion of their company. They can just generally usually come and pick up your stuff if you can just leave it in front of your home or leave it like outside of your building. But for me, like I knew that the chairs I could probably get down by myself, but that media console, I wasn't gonna be able to. So I couldn't just use their normal service that's free. I had to use their, I had to use their premier service that you have to pay for in order for them to come into your space and get your stuff. Sidebar, I have really been loving the Summer Fridays. Lip Butter Balm, I don't know. I'm not gonna, actually, I do think I like it a little bit more than the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. I feel like this is a tad bit more moisturizing, I was gonna say. I think I like them about the same, but no, I think that this one is a little bit more moisturizing. And I really, really love this Amicole Lip Treatment Oil. It's like an oil to lip gloss type of formula or that's how they describe it, but it's a lip gloss to me. This is like very, very moisturizing. Um, so just wanted to point those out, even though it's irrelevant to what we were talking about. But yeah, it's starting to get empty in here. My bedroom is not really going to be fully empty until like the movers come because like my bed and my dresser are in there, but soon the closet will start to look bare. The living room is already starting to look bare soon. Like... The kitchen will eventually look bare once I get all these appliances off here and stuff. It's just, yeah, there's an echo in here. It's just crazy, but we will save my emotions and everything for like the actual like first moving vlog when I move out of here and talk to y'all about some stuff. Probably actually while I'm driving, I might talk to y'all. It will also help keep me like awake. But yeah, I just wanted to come on camera real quick and show y'all that that was done. If I pack a little bit more today, I'll talk to y'all later on today. But if not, I will talk to y'all tomorrow when we go run errands. Hello friends, we are still editing the vlog. We're almost done though. My goal is to be done editing it by 8 p.m., maybe nine, so that hopefully by midnight it is done exporting and then I can just upload it to YouTube and I'll just make sure to test the songs before I export the video in case I gotta change anything. Thumbnail's already done. But yeah, I just came from downstairs. I was too lazy to cook one of my HelloFresh meals. So I will be for sure cooking tomorrow so I can also have lunch for Monday um, for when I go to work. But I got boludo, I got some pizza and a Caesar salad. Y'all know the vibes. I was gonna go pick it up, but I was like, mm, DoorDash instead. And it's still fresh. Sometimes the crust may look a little burnt, but like it's not actually like when you eat it, it doesn't taste burnt. It's just so good. And I will say that I will miss Beludo 10,000% when I move back to, um, when I move back home. But, you know, there's good pizza in Charlotte too. So, yeah. I'm gonna start with two pieces for now. And I'm gonna put some salad in a bowl, but I just want to show y'all my dinner real quick. Um, I probably won't talk to y'all for the rest of the night. I'll probably just talk to y'all tomorrow. TBH, um, cause I gotta get this video done. So, bye. Good morning vlog. Oh, the lighting here is kind of trash. We'll move y'all in a second. Happy um Sunday. It is May 7th. 
Jesus Christ. I could have sworn, and this has happened a few times, I think it's a slight glitch with YouTube, specifically if I make the alteration on the YouTube Studio app on my phone versus doing it on the desktop. Hold on. I had scheduled my weekly vlog. Like I said, it's already up by the time y'all are watching this. I had scheduled it to go up today, but for it to go up at 12 p.m. I don't remember if I mentioned this, but I think I might start posting my weekly vlogs a little bit earlier on Sundays. I think I'm gonna start posting at either 11 a.m. or 12 p.m. because between like 11 and I think like two my time is when a lot of people seem to be, a lot of people watch my videos seem to be on YouTube. So I plan to post it at 12 p.m. today. It's not even 12 yet, like I said, it's almost 11. Um, and the video I think posted either a little after midnight this morning or posted like around one or two in the morning. And so when I woke up to some comments on my YouTube video, I was like, oh shit, I accidentally scheduled the vlog to go up earlier this morning instead of going up at 12. So, oopsies. But anyways, I'm making breakfast right now since I was lollygagging and on TikTok. I've been watching this whole Tarte Bria situation. And if you're not familiar, Tarte is doing yet another brand trip. Well, by the time y'all are watching this, it will be over. But they're doing another brand trip to the F1 race in Miami. And Bria, I think her last name is Joan. She's really big on YouTube here, but she also has a good following on TikTok. And she made a video about how she was invited to go on the trip. But like the trip was built around the F1 race and on the actual day of the race, like I think her return flight was scheduled to go back like either the day before the race or the day of the race, but before the race started. So she wouldn't have even been there to participate or watch the race in the same way that the other influencers who were invited on that same trip, which is built around the race, would have been able to do. And so since then, there's just been a lot of drama on TikTok. The CEO of Tarte came out and made a very disingenuous video. There was no apology. Two other black content creators who were invited to go on the trip very last minute after Bria was no longer going have kind of been like acting very mean girlish and kind of antagonizing her and also trying to act like people who are calling them out and also calling Tarte out for their behavior are being ridiculous and that if you get invited on a Tarte trip or a trip like this, like you should just be grateful. And it's like, no, like, first of all, if we all have not been living under a rock, for like the past few years, especially when like beauty YouTube used to be at its height. We all know that Tarte has a very trashy and terrible history of racism and discrimination and how they treat black women. First of all, very confused as to why anybody's still going on those trips or even purchasing Tarte products. Let's start there. But number two, for you to sit here and side with a white corporation over your fellow black content creator who is telling you about her very real lived experience, especially given the fact that this company has a track record of being racist, is fucking wild to me. Like, all that shucking and driving for what? To go to Miami, be fucking for real. Like, so I have just been watching like all the videos of other content creators like saying, Essentially like calling out Tarte again, but also saying how disgusting it kind of is that not only those two black women content creators, but like other content creators are essentially just like, well, Bria should have just been grateful. Bria should have just did this. Bria should have just did that. And I'm just like, that's wild. White supremacy has done a fucking number on you idiots. That's crazy. But anyways, that's what I was doing. Um, Bria came out with another video, I think yesterday. I think she still, I think she has decided to resume her TikTok hiatus, which I don't blame her because people were being very nasty to her. But the video that she recently made, apparently she had a conversation with the Tarte CEO and the company and whatever. And apparently there was a misunderstanding on both ends. And the way that I saw that video sounded very rehearsed, like she was told to read some things. And so I hope that she's okay. I hope that she's not being sued because that was very wild. Like, no baby, you were not wrong for making that video and don't let them use you and gaslight you. So yeah, I was just ca catching up on all of that stuff on TikTok. But anyways, plans for today, once I'm done making breakfast, we are gonna go run errands. I gotta get Skipper food. I gotta go to Home Depot to get wrapping uh, bubble wrap and to maybe get like two 
two to four large boxes. Then I think I'm going to swing over to Sephora. I was going to place an online order, but I kind of want my pimple patches like now. I'm only going there to get pimple patches. Um, and then there was some, oh, and then I might go to Whole Foods or Trader Joe's on the way back. I need some eggs. I want to get some regular pork bacon just because I'm having a little craving right now for some pork bacon. And I'll go to Trader Joe's. It'll be cheaper and get some, some cheese. Cause I still have deli meat and I want to uh, finish using it this week for my sandwiches for lunch. I'm going to bring y'all along with me, but I just wanted to say good morning, say happy Sunday and check in real quick. And I will talk to y'all later. Hey y'all. I'm vlogging on my phone just because it was easier than to bring my vlog camera. But the point is we're still vlogging. I'm in the car right now. I'm in the parking deck um, in my apartment. I made some iced coffee. So we have some for the road and um i have my stanley cup here too i'm trying to figure out actually hold on because i can prop y'all up without having to hold the phone hold on there we go love technology so um this is the little tripod that i use for my phone i'm trying to decide if i want to go i'm really not in the mood to drive all the way to adina which is like 20-ish minutes away, 22 minutes away to go to Sephora. Um, but I really need some more pimple patches and I could just get them today instead of waiting like maybe two days, three days for them to come if I order them on Sephora. So I'm thinking that I might go to Adina first, especially since the mall just opened like 40 minutes ago. Go to Sephora, go pick that up and then go to St. Louis Park to go to Petsmart and Home Depot and then hit Trader Joe's on the way back. So. Let's go run some errands. Hey y'all, I just got out of the mall and I figured that we'd do a little Sephora haul. So I got the Sephora daily brush cleaner spray. This way after like every use, I can just go ahead and clean my makeup brushes instead of just like waiting until I do like a, like a, a deep cleaning in like weeks. Don't judge me. Y'all know y'all be doing the same thing. Everybody don't be washing their brushes immediately after they use them. Y'all be waiting and y'all be using the same dirty brushes. So don't judge me because I know y'all do the same thing. So I'm trying to break out of that habit because the last time I did my makeup was like maybe two weeks ago and I have not washed my brushes. So we finna clean them today and I'm gonna make sure to use this after every, um, after every use. So we got that. I repurchased the um, One Size Ultimate Puff because I wanted the one from Laura Mercier, but they said that they've been sold out of it for like months in store. Um, so I went ahead and just got the One Size one. I used to have one. I ended up getting rid of it because I wasn't fully sure how I liked it. I should have kept it. Um, because then I wouldn't have had to end up repurchasing it like I liked it but I also wasn't using it enough so I was like let me get rid of it but I had looked at a picture of my makeup that I did like a few months ago and I really liked my makeup in that picture and I said what did I do differently that day I used the fucking powder puff to set everything and it made it come out 10 times better so we got that we got what I actually intended to go to Sephora for this was the only thing that I was supposed to buy I still did not spend that much money. I spent less than 150, so I'm very proud of myself, but um, this was the actual only thing that I was supposed to get. So this is the Peace Out Acne Dots. It's the 40 Acne Healing Dots. It has, oh, no, no, no. I should have kept the one that I had. I'm glad I got the 40, but I thought that this was the one that had like the day dots and the night dots. This is just, or the, yeah, the original ones, but these are just the original ones. That's fine. No biggie, because that's what I was using before they even came out with the day dot ones. Then I got the Ami Cole Skin Enhancing Tint in the shade Deep One. I actually swatched it on myself. I don't know if you can see it. That's how well it blends into my skin. Um, it looks really, really pretty. I'm glad that it looks pretty like in real life because y'all know that the lighting in Sephora is like different. Um, and sometimes when you swatch in there, it looks like the perfect match, but then when you actually like go and look at it at home, it'd be off. 
so this was actually the perfect match and i'm glad that i did try it on in the store instead of just ordering it online because i was between deep one and deep two but deep one works for me i was gonna get the summer fridays one because i've heard really good things about their skin tint but i was like let's support a black business and i'm wearing the amicole lip treatment oil right now and i fucking love it so i was like let me buy something else from her because i'm sure i will like it and then the last two things that i got are brushes so i got the sephora uh pro collection number 47 brush this is for foundation i feel like you can never have too many foundation brushes they serve different purposes and then i got essentially the um whatchamacallit the I can't talk today. The concealer version of this foundation brush. It's the Sephora number 71 brush. We are gonna go now to St. Louis Park so we can go get Skipper Food at PetSmart or Petco, whichever one is out there. I always mix up the names. I think it's PetSmart. Um, and then there's a Home Depot in that same shopping center. So we're gonna go to Home Depot, get bubble wrap in like maybe two boxes. And then we will go to Trader Joe's before we go home. So see you at PetSmart. Y'all, this shit is so expensive. running errands i feel like i've been out i think i've been out since like 11 skipper's playing with his new toys i have to get him toys that are like made for chewers and that are indestructible because he will literally tear everything up he can't have any cute little toys no stuffed animals he's a savage he will tear that shit up but Let's show y'all what I got. Y'all already saw the stuff that I got from Sephora because I did a little haul in my car, so we won't be doing a haul of that. I will for TikTok though. We got some bubble wrap. We got the boxes. I got him some food. This shit is expensive. It is like almost $60, but the dog's gotta eat. It's my Sephora stuff. And then let's do a mini Trader Joe's haul. All right, from Trader Joseph's. We got some more bread because I'm running out and I wanted to make sure I had enough to have it either for toast and or sandwiches during the week. I got my favorite blueberry muffins. I had a little craving for them. These I like to eat for breakfast. I got some bacon. We are gonna freeze her. I wanna finish my turkey bacon first. I got some cheese because I'm running out and I want cheese for my sandwiches. And then I got two cartons of, um large brown eggs i wish that trader joe's sold this like in the 18 pack but they don't not even for their white eggs at least not at the trader joe's that i go to but yeah that is everything that i got from trader joe's what was i saying oh i'm gonna put this away um and then i'm gonna eat my lunch my vlog that i posted early this morning on accident is actually doing very well um so love that for me i'm gonna chill out do laundry and we will talk later on because i actually need to cook these last two hello fresh meals because i don't want them to spoil so we will be cooking later and then the last meal will be made tomorrow and then my new box comes tomorrow so chat later guys all right y'all i wasn't gonna cook dinner i was just gonna make oatmeal or something real quick because honestly i'm feeling very lazy but i was like no i need to eat like an actual meal so we are gonna make hello fresh today I don't know, all these times I've been making HelloFresh is giving, where's the sponsorship? Where's the sponsorship? I'm just kidding. I mean, at some point, that would be nice. So, HelloFresh if you're watching, but also I just genuinely love their food. So, we're making the one pot Mexicali black bean soup. So, it's a vegetarian meal. I did not add any meat to it. You could have added meat to it, but I did not. So, we're just having a vegetarian meal. So, let's get cooking.
But let's taste it. The tortilla chips, very good. Very good. It reminds me of the one boy, the one pot cowboy chili that I've made from HelloFresh, um, but without meat. That's what it reminds me of. It's very, very good. But I'm gonna, uh, I am finna eat my dinner. Why can I not talk? I'm finna eat my dinner. And then I'm finishing up my laundry so I can put that shit away. I'm finna take a shower and I'm finna relax for the rest of the night. And I will talk to y'all um, probably tomorrow. I just want a rough neck nigga on the tongue, bitch. They just want to send me automatic with a drop. Hit me if I finish, now I'm set to be done. I ain't giving out no nutty to no nigga just for fun. Are you dumb? Uh -uh. Who the man? I don't know no other man. Like a hundred niggas just for a hundred bands. What? I don't even got me a hundred bands. I'm still gonna make me a hundred M's with a hundred plans. Give me that song. Extend up. I carry just like a break up. Hit a rock with nigga call. All right, y'all. Y'all just saw me pack up some more stuff in my kitchen. I packed four boxes. So that is all we're going to do today. I think tomorrow or later on in the week, we got to go through this drawer because I have like, this is my junk drawer. I feel like we all have a drawer in our house, a drawer or two. My parents most definitely did growing up that it's just like a junk drawer and you just throw stuff in there. Like it's organized and I know what's in here, but like it's a junk drawer and we need to go through it, throw things out that I don't need and see if there's anything in there that needs to immediately be packed. And then I need to go through my cleaning supplies down here and figure out what I'm gonna leave out and what I can pack. I have to leave some things out obviously so I can clean my apartment before I move out. But I know that there's certain things in here that I don't necessarily like need for that final clean out that I can probably pack. And then I need to go through my, I think I'm gonna get rid of my mirror and give it to Goodwill, sorry. Maybe that's a little ADHD for me getting distracted. But I need to go through all of my drawers and pack whatever I'm not using. The majority of these seasonings right now I'm not using. So that is probably what I will do maybe tomorrow or on Wednesday. And then this weekend, I need to start breaking down my shoe containers so that I can pack those in a box. The shoes themselves, all of those are coming with me, but I don't care if the shoe containers like go in storage, but what I'm gonna try to do with them is, sorry, this is better lighting. Actually, this is better lighting. What I'm gonna try to do with them is leave them set up if I can and just put them in one or two probably of those large boxes that I had just got from, whatchamacallit, how many did I get? 
at four that I got from Home Depot on Sunday because they weren't like the most annoying to put together, but I feel like they were a bitch to put together. So like, I don't wanna have to re-put them together completely. So I can, so if I can leave them like put together for the most part, that would be ideal. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Eventually though, I think I wanna upgrade and get like all, not glass, but like an all clear, um, glass looking like shoe containers i saw some on instagram the other day that costco sells um container store sells them too i think they're just a little bit more expensive at the container store but that's the plans that's the vibes so yeah i will talk to you guys probably tomorrow so bye hey y'all happy what day is today wednesday it's 2 20 in the afternoon um i didn't go to work this morning because i wasn't feeling too hot and also skipper threw up this morning and i just also needed to keep an eye on him so i didn't go to work this morning but that's okay been getting some work done was on the phone with sherb and i'm watching some renaissance world tour content will not spoil it for anyone but i just wanted to come on camera real quick and end this vlog off because i did not do there we go better lighting consistent lighting i did not do an official outro so this ended up being the first moving vlog that was wasn't the intention until I went back and looked at the footage last night while I was starting to edit and I was like oh there's a lot of moving related content bitch slow down there's a lot of moving related content so we will just make this the first moving vlog so welcome this was the first moving vlog I hope you all enjoyed don't forget to like comment subscribe I love you all so 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 much and I will see you in the next video there's some wars in this house. There's some wars in this house. There's some wars.